Hi, I'm Dina, Anya on show. Today I'm going to show you a quick example of how to divide a quantity in a given ratio. So what that means is that we might be asked to split up an amount of money or counters or sweets, etc. between two or more people. So for example, if you won a certain amount in the lotto, but you and your friend have paid different amounts of money towards that lottery ticket, you might deserve a different amount than your friend does. So this is what's going to help us to sort out those types of problems. This question is generally answered well, but sometimes students get confused between what step comes first. So some of my past pupils a couple of years ago came up with an excellent way of remembering the correct steps to complete this question. And they came up with a name that's going to help us. And that name that we're going to remember for today is Adam. So Adam is going to be our best friend when we're dealing with ratio questions as it's going to help us to remember what steps come first. So the question that we have today is to split 70 euro between two people, Tom and Sarah, in the ratio three is to four. So basically they don't deserve 35 euro each. They have maybe paid different amounts towards this lotto ticket or one has done more work than the other for this particular amount of money. So we're going to use Adam to help us. The first thing that we're going to do then is start off with A in Adam, and that A stands for add. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to add together our two ratio amounts, which are three and four. So three plus four is going to give me seven. Moving on with Adam, we are now going to go on to the next part of the name, which is D, and D stands for divide. So what we need to do in this section is we're going to take our answer from the previous section, that's going to come down and help us, and we are going to divide 7 into the amount that we're trying to split up, which is 70 euro. So we're going to do 70 euro divided by 7, which gives me 10. For the next A in Adam, we have to be a little bit imaginative. So the next A just stands for and. And finally, the M is going to stand for multiply. So again, you're going to take your answer from the previous section, which was 10. You're going to bring that down to help us. And we're going to multiply our original ratio by 10. So that's going to be 3 multiplied by 10. 4 multiplied by 10, so therefore Tom is going to receive 30 euro and Sarah is going to receive 40 euro. So that is example one complete, guys. So hopefully that makes sense. Please feel free to go back over the question again and pause it and recap on what we've done so far. Once you're happy with example number one, I'd like you to have a look at what I'm going to put up for example number two. But please pause the video, have a go at the question yourself, and then you can play the video and see how you got on. So for example number two, I would like you to have a go at splitting 75 sweets between two people, Keith and Keen, in the ratio two is to three. Good luck.